celebration. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. And, and I would like to thank you, all of you, for being a part of this celebration of peace life. I would also like to thank Peace Mother Gail and family members for allowing us this opportunity, this honor, to hold this here. Thank you so much. If anyone has a cell phone, I ask that you please make sure that that, that is cut off. I'm going to be or uh, have the honor of, of speaking later, so at this time I'm pleased to introduce uh, Pastor Tim Howell of the Gospel Temple Worship Center. Pastor, if you would come on up, sir. Let us pray. God, we're so sensitive of your presence in this recovery community. We cannot help but be mindful of the literally thousands of lives that have been touched and changed because somebody cared. God, I want to thank you for the men and women who have walked on these grounds, who have made determinations in their life to start over, do things better. And God, we just thank you for giving them the strength to do that. Thank you, Lord, that we've worshipped with literally hundreds of them. Thank you that we've heard testimonies from dozens and dozens of them whose lives have been radically transformed because they found something inside of them bigger than themselves. And God, we're conscious today that there is a power inside of all of us that is bigger than we are. And Lord, we reach way down deep and grab that power tonight because our hearts are broken. We're sorrowful because we have lost a dear friend, someone who meant so much to many of those who are here tonight. And God, thank you for, Keith, for Heath and thank you for letting him walk among us and thank you for helping him make our lives richer and better and sharing with us the successes and the joys that he has discovered through Christ Jesus the Lord. And God, I just pray that you would bless now this family. I thank you for Gail and Norman. And I thank you for the other family members. I thank you for all the friends. And God, we just lift up your name today and give you praise and glory that we have the opportunity to say good things about a good man. And we bless your name through it all. And give you praise for it, for Christ's sake. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Howell. Thank you so much, sir. Again, thank you. Thank you for being here to honor his life. I know that we all have mixed emotions at this time in hearts that are heavy and laden with sadness and grief. But we're reminded that in this most trying time, we should also be celebrating his life. Our human emotional frailness renders this celebration difficult for many of us. However, there is great rejoicing and majesty in heaven. For God has truly called home one of his own. He now has a peace and a joy that passeth all human understanding. His legacy endures and will endure in our fond and wonderful memories of him and the work that he did. I'll tell you this, you know, I obviously had written this, so I'm gonna get away from this a little bit. That legacy, I guarantee you, ensures his place in God's universe. There's absolutely no question about it. I don't think anyone had a better opportunity than myself to work with Heath here at the Owl's Nest. Uh, 
I remember when he came in. I remember those first days. And I remember watching him grow. And as he took on added responsibilities, as he had taken the steps, had a true spiritual awakening, unquestionable. And he took on added responsibilities. And then Steve and I had absolutely a unanimous agreement that when the position of Minister Director came open, that there simply was no one other than he to fill that position. You know, I've said oftentimes that great leaders always put others before themselves. And having said that, he was a great leader. He always put others before himself. His last act on Saturday night with residents was, was to take them bowling. When I'd asked him not to, when I said no, he, we're not going to take them. And uh, he went over my head to Steve. And, <laughs> and uh, they went bowling. And I understand that, uh, and I don't know if I have that with me, but that he had posted something on Facebook to the effect of how important it was to love yourself because that would ensure how you loved others. That was at, I believe, 154 Sunday morning. You know, self-sacrificing work, I talked about that today in a meeting. And with Heath, that was absolute. I don't think any past residents who are now alumni, and many of you others, or present residents could really understand how much he cared for you. He always, always put you all first. Whether it be him holding you accountable so that you could move in a good direction, or I don't even really need this. <laughs> or his just looking out for him. I do want to read this. There's simply not enough time to talk about the many responsibilities that Heath was charged with here at the Owl's Nest. And it's unquestionably, unquestionable that he carried out these responsibilities in what I call an exemplary manner. In closing, I, I want to reference back to Heath's legacy. I love Heath White. I love him. I say all the time in the meetings that you are not judged by how much you love, but by how much you are loved. Heath White was and is loved. We're going to show a short video. Steve, I want to make his regrets. Uh, he and I talked on and off last night, again today, several times, and he simply had to be in Florida for the opening of the new facility. And, and, and I know how enthusiastic he was about that, so I hope that Gail, you, know, you, Norman, and the other family members can understand that. He asked me to definitely convey his regrets. And he did, uh, we do have a video here from Steve. Good evening, family. It is with honor and gratitude that I celebrate the life of Heath White with all of you. I'm sure that Heath would not want us sitting around mourning his death, but yet celebrating the victory of his life. May all of you know that he may be gone in the physical realm, but he lives in each and every one of us for eternity. I love all of you, and may God bless you and keep you, Miss Gale and Norman and the rest of Heath's family. Good night. We also have a uh, video that, that was compiled by John 
of heat. But first, I'd like, uh, before we show that, if Thomas and I believe James are going to come up and speak for just a moment. Sponsor, sponsor, friend, he was my brother, my family. Man, you grew up, man, all our life, man, sandbox days, rock throwing days, <laughs> and streets together. more than I wanted it for myself. He said I was a personal project. I feel you're going too soon. You blessed a lot of people, man. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is nothing that's here now. The people that touched me over Facebook about them, sentiments. Um, we grew up together also. Um, back in July of uh, last year, I was in a bad way. You know, um, I was in a real bad way. I mean, I had nothing, nothing. I lost everything. And um, I didn't know where to turn. And I was going through my phone. First thing, let me just back up on. I was struggling a long time before I reached out to him. One day I saw I saw on Facebook, you know, that he was the men's director here at the house next. And I was just so proud, you know, just, just knowing where we came from, you know. Um, I seen him when we were all young and innocent. I seen him at his worst, and then I seen him at his best. And, um, talk about proud, just just knowing, just knowing the life that we was living, just knowing, just seeing him here. Um, men's director at the Owls Nest, and I was I was I was just so proud, you know, because when we was coming up, you know, he. He would, he would always say how he looked up to me, but at the end, I looked up to him like 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 no other. You know, it's just, just incredible. You know, um, every time I used to come to this five o'clock meeting, and 
I just see him walking up and down, calling people names. And, you know, but, but besides him calling people names, he had that, that rapport with everybody. I mean, um, I mean, everybody just, just, just felt him, you know. And he always told the story about, you know, how he was um, doing the stuff he was doing, you know. Um, and just everybody just could relate to him because of, you know, he, he just broke it down simply, you know. Um, um, and and I, I was just looking amazed. I'm like, the same thing, the same thing he finally knows, you know, but I was just more, more proud and amazed, you know, when I, a lot of times he probably would think that I was looking at the girls or whatever because I was just looking at the people looking at him, you know. Um, I mean, I was, I was, man, you know, uh, I was talking to my wife and we was talking about the day you're born and the day you die, you know, that hash mark in between. And all I know is that the last four years of my brother's life, he made a difference in somebody else's life. Amen. You know, and um, um, that's something to be proud of because I'm, because I'm, I was proud of that. You know, um, I never would have thought, I never would have thought that, that he would be in the position that God would put him in the position to help so many. You know, and he wanted. Tom said that that he was his personal pro personal project, but he wanted so to help so many people from his hometown. And me and Tom were recipients of that, you know? And I'm so grateful for that, you know? Um, just like Tom, when I was, you know, last year, when I called him, I had nobody to turn to. I called him, and he, had, he didn't ask me no questions. He didn't judge me, he didn't ask me no questions. He said, can you get here? I said, no. Um, I don't have, I don't have when I tell you I don't have nothing, I don't have nothing, you know. I couldn't go to my family, I couldn't go to my wife, I couldn't go to nobody, I didn't have nothing. Because I burned everything, or every bird I had. He said, well, call me back. So I don't even think it was 10 minutes, I called him back. I was like, Keith, ain't nothing changed, Keith, ain't nothing changed. You gotta give me some time, man, give me some time, give me about an hour or something, call me back. I'm out, you know, in Georgia, it was like, 100 degrees, you know, I'm outside with nothing, with the clothes I had on for three days, you know, um, I ain't shaved or nothing, I was, I was, I was tore up, you know, and he was like, call me back, I said, call me back now, so I called him back, I don't know who he was talking to, but, um, he worked it out for me, man, he said, go to the bus station and get on the bus. Mm. 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 That they changed my life, you know. I'll be forever indebted to you, be white, ever. You know, um, I'm proud to call him my friend, proud to know him. I know God is pleased, you know. Um, Cause he did what he wanted to do, you know, at the end, he's helping people. I mean, I, I look on Facebook at all of these sponsors, and I look on his page. It's crazy, man. Look at all these people there, man. This is Keith White, you know? Um, man. All I can say is, job well done, my brother. And I love you. Thanks. Disney World the first time two years ago. First time in two, in two years, and guess what? My kid been in three or four times. And I'm gonna tell you one thing. They, they told me I can't curse. I ain't gonna curse. So I tell you, man. I'm gonna tell you the first time I was on those rides and screaming like a you know what. <laughs> I'm gonna be too. You know. <laughs> Then, man, I enjoy life though. Okay. The um, you know, like when you do crappy stuff. Oh, you know, like um, at 
ใช่ตัวกายแพ็คในเฟสของหมอที่แบบแง่เขาอุ้มไปนะอินเตอร์เทรนอันที่ Have a good question, but thank you so, Miss Miss Stone. You cleaned that up so very well. Miss Stone, and, and when she did, she cleaned it up well because I could get hood on. You know? I could get street on. I'm trying to get out of that life. You know what I mean? Every now and then, I get pulled back. You know what I mean? You know, I get that rubber dope on, brother. You know what I mean? I'm able to finally give back what was so freely given to me. I'm able to come do the things that I'm doing today. Diamonds and all that. So he looks at me. 
He said, where do you think they're charging for this one two? <laughs> My name is Heath, and I'm an addict. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the opening of this video, I don't know how many of you are aware, but speak, Heath last week went and spoke to 1,800 high school students. Uh, they had to divide it up into three sessions, so you can just imagine in looking at that short video of his speaking, the impact that, that he had on those students. Uh, Pastor Pat Hiller is uh, going to come up and uh, sing the song. Please, come on. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm going to sing a song. Uh, I'm free. Praise the Lord. I'm free. No longer bound. No more chains holding me. My soul is resting. And it's just a blessing. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm free. Amen. 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 I'm free, praise the Lord, I'm free, I'm no longer bound, no more chains holding me, my soul is resting, it's just a blessing. Praise the Lord, hallelujah, I'm free. One more time. I'm free. Praise the Lord, I'm free. No longer bound. No more change holding me. My soul.
in closing, uh, before I ask Pastor Howell to, to lead us in prayer, a closing prayer, I'd like for uh, Eli, if you would come up and share just a moment with us. Where's Eli? Y'all know him as Levi. <laughs> Hey everybody, my name is Levi. Um, you know, it's just an honor, Mr. Phil and Gene, even asked me to come up here. You know, I um, the last couple days I've just been looking at Facebook pictures over and over again, and it hadn't really sunk in, you know. And um, I know Tom and all these guys, you know, they grew up with him, but for the past three years, him and I've spoke every morning and every night. Um, and that was my big brother, and um, I'll never forget those talks, you know, every night after work, pitch dark, we were out in the yard talking about life, I knew, he knew everything about me, and we, I knew everything about him, and weekends we would blame each other for our sneaker addictions, <laughs> <laughs> um, he always competed with that, but um, all I've been thinking about is, everybody asks, I know I do, I speak for myself, when somebody passes that's close, you know, is why. And, um, you know, it's hard to understand sometimes. It really is hard to understand. But, um, I think this is going to bring everybody closer together, and it's just a blessing that you requested to have this service here, you know, because that's, he wouldn't have had it any other way. His spirit's here, I know his roots are in the Yonkers, but his spirit's here, and, you know, and that'll live in our hearts forever, and, you know. The man that might come tomorrow will never know who Heath White was, but there'll be a lot of people that can tell him about him. Yeah. You know? And, um, you might call me crazy, but I sent him one last text today. And, um, I'm just telling him, you know, today's the memorial, and you little punk, you left too soon. <laughs> he always told me to man up when I was sick. Man up. But, um... He's comfortable, you know. What a blessing it is to know that man. He uh, he left an amazing mark here on earth. He really did. And I'm um, just honored to be able to share something with you guys. But um, I love him. Heath, I'll always love you, brother. You're my big brother. Thank you all. I'm glad to, to, to hear about that text. You know, I called Keith some night. Knowing that I couldn't speak to it. <laughs> so thank you for that, Eli. Pastor, if you would come up, sir, and, and read us in a closing prayer. In Hebrews chapter 12, I'm not going to preach, but if you'll indulge me for about 30 seconds. The beginning of Hebrews chapter 12 follows a whole chapter 11 of the chapter of faith. And he ends up chapter 11 by saying, These all died in the faith. Then he starts chapter 12. He said, Therefore, and I could preach in this place tonight. <laughs> he said, Wherefore, seeing that we are compassed about with a great cloud of witnesses, let us run with patience the race that is set before yes. us. So the race is before us. I look back over my life, there have been certain people who just made such a profound impact upon me that I have never forgotten. And obviously, Heath was that kind of man. And you'll remember things he said, things that he did. His way that was only his way. And it will impact you for the rest of your life if you will let it do it. Be thankful today that he ended on a high note. Amen. Okay? And he could hear, well done, good and faithful servant, enter thou into the joys of thy Lord. Now I must hush and pray. Again, God, we thank you for these wonderful brothers and sisters in the faith. Many of them we're seeing for the first time tonight, but already our hearts have been knit together by the preciousness of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for Heath, 
that brought us together again. And obviously this is not the first time that He has brought people together. So Father, we just thank You for His impact. We thank You that we will all of our lives remember little things He said and that He did and the place that He had in each of our hearts. We thank You for that. Now God, let us draw strength from one another. Let us look at one another and say, I promise you, by the help of that greater power within me, with Almighty God, I promise you that I'm going to be faithful and true to what I know is right and good so that I too can take my place beside Heath and help other people find the way. People that can be delivered from the bondages of addictions and problems that come from addictions. God, we just speak blessings to one another. We thank you even now. Thank you for all of those who love him and who loved him. And God help us all that we would walk strongly together. And then one day, according to your word, one day we will again know each other and be reunited together again. And that's why we sorrow not as those that have no hope. But our hope is in the name of the Lord. And we thank you for it. Bless these grounds. Bless Owl's Nest. Bless the leaders of Owl's Nest. Give them wisdom, meet their every need, so that many other thousands of men and women can be blessed and helped on this journey of life as we walk together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor. And in closing, uh, Gail, Norman, family members and, and, and friends that have come here, <laughs> Mr. Phil and I have talked about it, and of course his legacy of helping others will carry on. But this building is going to be named after him. scholarship fund for those <coughs> alcoholics and addicts who, who can't afford to come here. Right. Uh, <laughs> and with that I know I speak for all of us. We love you, Heath. Mm -hmm. We love you. I know that God has blessed you now. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you.